from Catchpole Property Group and I just want to spend a few moments just showing you this property we just bought and showing you how we're going to turn it from a two bed semi detached into a four bed HMO. So come on in and I'll show you around. So as you enter the hallway you can see it's quite a dated property and needs quite a lot of work doing to it. Firstly straight away you might be able to see that there's polystyrene ceilings across. This is a theme that runs throughout the property so they're all going to have to go one because I don't like them and two because they are a fire hazard so that's going to go completely refurbished in here nice and fresh making it nice and appealing to our tenants who move in. So currently there are two reception rooms. So this is the first reception room which will become a bedroom. So as you'll see as you come in again there's a little bit of damp down here. So we're going to have a bit of damp proof course put in and that will completely clear that up. You'll also notice that there's electrics in the room. So what we're going to do is get them taken out, put into the hallway so they're accessible if they're needed in an emergency. So again, this room, polystyrene scenes will be taken down, completely fresh look. Uh, bed anticipate being against this chimney breast here and nice and homely for our tenants. That's bedroom number one. So at the moment, we've got a second reception room here. So what we're actually going to do is take this chimney breast out completely and then make this a kitchen. So by taking that chimney breast out, it makes this wall nice and flush. So you can put all the kitchen units along here. So then we're also going to utilise this space under the stairs because it actually goes all the way along to about here. So what we're going to do is build this wall so it comes down diagonally like that. And that opens up all that space and allows us to put more kitchen units under there. So anticipating the sink may go under there or something like that. So by making this a kitchen area, the dining area can be just there, TV on the wall, something like that, and that allows the kitchen at the moment to become a bedroom. So we anticipate that the kitchen at the moment, which is a traditional galley kitchen, will become a second bedroom. So it's nice and bright and pink in here. Not my favourite colours, but it's not the worst colour I've ever seen. But what we're going to do is completely strip this out. Nice carpets down, nice decoration, and anticipate the bedroom will probably be in the corner there. We'll take out the boiler for safety reasons, put it in with the new kitchen so it's accessible to the boiler manager you need to come in. Um, and then this is where the current bathroom is in the property. So this is going to be an ensuite for the tenants. They're getting their own bathroom, making it more appealing to them. This room itself will be about 10 metres square. When you add the bathroom in, it's a nice space for the tenant. So at the moment, it's got a bath in it. So what we're going to do, quite dated again, like most of the property, take that bath out, put a shower in completely refurbish that bathroom, making it nice. So you'll notice as well, this tenant has a exit from their bedroom into the garden. So one, that makes it nice and easy for them to get in and out, but more importantly, it's a fire exit. So with a HMO, you can't exit through a kitchen. So we're making that second reception room a kitchen. So this tenant could not exit through there. So this is their exit, they can exit straight into the um, car parking area there, nice and easy for them to exit too. So we'll just go into the garden here as well, just show you a little bit about it. So you see we've got a garage here at the moment, so that can be a bit of storage for the tenants or potentially we can let it out to someone who might want the parking space or they can use it for their bikes. And then you've just got a bit of the back of the house here. So a nice little area for the tenants to use if they want to for their barbecue in the summer or something like that. So we'll just go upstairs and I'll show you the other two rooms. So now we're upstairs, we've had two bedrooms downstairs with the front reception room and the old kitchen becoming a bedroom. So this bedroom here will stay as it is being a third bedroom. So this building wardrobe will completely go. The polystyrene ceilings again will go. Completely new liquor paint, taking the wallpaper down, new carpets, anticipating the bed will be here, making it bedroom number three. I did mention as well downstairs that being a HMO will obviously have the interlinked fire alarms in the whole house for fire safety. So if one alarm goes off in one bedroom, the whole house goes off so the whole house knows they need to get out of the property. Um, so then we go into bedroom number four. So a few changes happen in this bedroom as well. So this is the biggest bedroom in the house, uh, biggest bedroom, but probably joint with the reception room downstairs. So this room's actually 16 meters square at the moment, which is huge, and it has its own little bathroom built into it. But that obviously we've taken the bathroom downstairs, so we need to build a way to get into that bathroom over there, which I'll show you in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a hallway here, and then along these built-in wardrobes here. So these wardrobes will come out. Hallway will basically be a bit smaller than they are, because it's quite a big wardrobe at the moment. And then that will create a bedroom in this room to about here, which will be about 10, 11 meters squared, so a good size room. Of course, this door at the moment is in the bedroom, so that door is going to be moved to the end of the wall to create the hallway so this bedroom here can exist, bedroom number four. But then we've obviously got the bathroom. So this is a good space bathroom here at the moment. So the door will be moved to there, and that allows us to put a shower just where you are at the moment, and then a sink here, keep the toilet where it is, all nice and new, completely refurbished, new tiling, new flooring, 
nice and modern. So again, the tenants, three and tenants will share this. So you've got four bedrooms in this two bed property now. So where this bedroom remains here, the last bedroom I haven't even mentioned, and I mentioned the wall will be to about here, creating about 10, 11 meter square bedroom, which is a nice size for a tenant. And then we anticipate the bed will be there. Nice and modern again, new carpets, newly decorated, nice um, paintings on the walls to make it really appealing to the tenant. Um, and that's how you turn two bed into a four bed HMO. So really excited for this one. Hope you've really enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.